Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Wingsung 233 with me. This is a Chinese pen and I got this pen in my school time, about 20 years from now, 20, 20, 22 years I think. So this pen, I never inked it. Today is the first time I inked this pen. So, you know, I could not ink this pen because this <coughs> there's a problem with this ink, this pen. The feed of the pen is not aligned to the nib at all. You can see here. So I did not ink, it, ink this for you know past 20 years, but today I inked it, and I'll try to fix this issue also. <coughs> so this pen is a sack filler. It has a sack and a steel, uh, you know, casing around it that uh, you, that has a mechanism wherein you push the sack inside and then dip, you, you know release the sack and the ink goes out. So you can easily remove this casing and you can see the sack. And this sack can also be removed easily if you can get hold of this sack. These days the parts are not easily available so it's, it's quite difficult to replace these sacks. Now you know all, all the pens that have inlaid nibs like you know you have this this pen uh, it has out outward inlaid nib then we have Parker 51 Parker 21 then you know other hero pens with small nibs so they all open from here they can be unscrewed from here if you can see they, they all can be unscrewed from here some pens you know easily unscrew some pens don't they need special tools so I would recommend that you don't attempt this because if you push too hard this part can be broken once this is gone your pen is gone so I'll, I'll try to open this oh <laughs> this is opened easily so you can open it all the way you can pull out the nib pull out the feed and clean it so I'll just have to align the feed to the nib so I'll just align it and tighten it so I would suggest don't push it too hard because this will break because this is a Chinese pen and the quality is not quality of the plastic is not very good it will break so I have always found some you know issues with Chinese pens they don't the caps of these type of pens are not secure at all it will just pop up automatically you keep it in the pen stand or in your pocket or in your um, EDC case this cap is always loose like this but it posts securely here it does not fall in it, it is easy it, it's very secure this is a small pen not very large pen as compared to the other pens you know, this this is a safari you see Lamy safari so it's almost you know like safari but smaller than it and it's almost to the size of Parker Frontier. Parker Frontier is a little smaller than it but still it's a pocket pen. The other thing with you know Chinese nibs is that they tend to be a bit scratchy on the scratchier side. They give feedback, they need some priming, they need to be you know you need to write with them for a long time to get them smoother. So let's try this out and see how does this write because I have not written with this pen no. so let me see if it works yeah it works so the pen is okay, I always misspell this Wingson 233 and the ink is Lamy sorry Waterman red surprisingly this is a smooth name as compared to the other chinese pens that i have used except jinhao other wingsung pens or hero pens that i have used this is a quite smooth name but it still gives some feedback so let's try to write something
so I'm writing a bit faster with this to check whether the feed keeps up or not but the feed kept up it does not you know skips and it, the ink flow is very good very very good actually and it does not have any line variation this is a it is a steel nib so undoubtedly it, does, it will not have any line variation works well writes good a good you know I think I, I was able to preserve this pen for a long time and then it will be in my collection for a long time so if you get hold of this pen go go for it I think it's a worth, worth uh, worthy pen for the money that it, it costs at that time I think it cost around 50 rupees and now I think you will get it around 200 rupees or 200 to 500 rupees on not on Amazon but you know on some websites that sell antique pens or old pens if you get this go for it I would say and thanks for watching